News of Gigi Karaoke's passing was broken by Deputy Senate Speaker Kembi Getora, who conveyed his condolences on behalf of Senate to the family and led editors of various media houses attending a Senate retreat in Mombasa to observe a moment of silence. The veteran politician was admitted to the hospital last week and was pronounced dead at 11 p.m. on Thursday night in the presence of his family members. Godfrey Gitahi Karaoke, who was like Kipia senator, died at the age of 78. A man who entered parliament aged 29, Gigi, as he is popularly known, was one of the longest serving members of parliament. He is the only MP in Kenya today who served in the first parliament. Gigi Karaoke entered politics in 1959 when he formed the Central Rift Valley Labour Party. He was first elected to parliament in May 1963 and served uninterrupted for 20 years before losing in the 1983 snap elections. He was nominated to parliament in 1993 and served until 1997 when he was defeated. He recaptured the seat in 2002. The late Karaoke was also a cabinet minister in both the governments of Jomo Kenyatta and Daniel Arap Moi. In his autobiography published in 2001, Illusion of Power, Gigi comments on Kenya's political history from one man's perspective. Meanwhile, President Uhuru Kenyatta and Senate Speaker Ekwe Uthuro joined Kenyans in mourning the late Lakipia Senator. Senator Speaker Ekwe Uthuro, who is out of the country, has eulogized the late Senator as a political mentor to many, saying he will be missed in Parliament. President Uhuru Kenyatta sent a message of condolences to the family, saying... The contribution of the late Senator Gigi Karaoke will forever be ingrained in our minds and history books. As a young leader during independence, he played a key in resolving land conflicts and the resettlement of squatters, particularly in Laikipia, as well as standing for the rights of all Kenyans, where he felt they were being trampled by those in authority. On his part, Deputy President William Ruto said Gigi Karaoke leaves an indelible mark in the Kenyan body politic and national psyche. His legacy will live in the country's collective memory for long. Senator Karaoke, in spite of his age, in spite of his experience, always behaved very with a lot of humility. He was a man, again, of great authority in, was, in what he was doing and what he wanted to see most and in most of his contributions in the Senate were to do with security. Mzee ambaye alikuwa na elimu au ujuzi kuhusu mambo ya serikali na hata mambo ya kuendesha bunge. The legislator graduated with a PhD from the University of Nairobi in 2015. Last year, Karaoke indicated he would defend his seat, but he was trounced during Jubilee Party primaries by John Kenya. He is the fourth senator to pass on in the current Senate. Other senators who have passed on include Mutula Kilonzo, Otieno Kajuang, and Jumaboy from Kwale.